Hello, everybody. It's Miss Henderson. Today we are talking about the 12 days of Photoshop. And we are talking about the project called Sliced. On the first day of Photoshop, my students gave to me, here is your challenge, everybody. You have one class period to create something sliced. What you choose and how you slice it up is up to you. However, your best bet is to consider matching shapes, colors, textures, and contours carefully. As always, take care with selection and cuts. Craftsmanship makes all the difference. Make sure to post to Artsonia when you are done. All right, so what I did is I really liked the idea of a frog. Um, so I searched for frog and I went to tools and I picked a large and Creative Commons license and I found this image and I downloaded it. Here it is in the big, because um, remember you always want to right click and open image in new tab to see the larger version of it. Uh, then I also decided that I wanted some cupcakes. I was trying to think what would be a really strange thing that if you were going to cut up a frog could come out. So for some reason, my mind just think cupcakes. You might think cucumbers. Um, I was also thinking about cucumbers, but ditched the idea in favor of green cupcakes. Um, so how did I do this? This is my finished product. Well, first of all, you can tell by my layers here in Photopia that I'm using um, lots and lots of different layers. So let's, let me turn some of these off and tell you how we got started. All right, well, first of all, I had, I had this image. Um, I went and flipped it by going image adjust, I mean, edit, transform, flip horizontal. And I flipped the image horizontal. Okay. Um, and that, that gave me this. Um, I also deleted the background and I wanted my frog to go up some. So that's why I deleted the background because I knew that if I use this image, all this space here at the bottom would look really strange. So I deleted the background. Um, Remember, you have to zoom in. I used a big eraser for the background, and then I used a smaller eraser and zoomed in and got along all the edges. Okay, I did that, and then I figured I wanted a neutral background to put my frog on, and I decided to move my frog up a little bit. But before I did this, you can tell I locked the original layer, but what I did is I uh, duplicated the layer. I always like to duplicate the layers that way in case I make a mistake, um, I can go back and I have my original layer. So what I did is I moved this guy up, I moved the frog up, and then I used my um, magnetic lasso select tool to kind of cut it in half here. Now it takes a minute for the um, AI to kick on. So you kind of have to click where you want to go and then um, slowly, you can see the jagged line which normally I wouldn't like the jagged line, but I think in this situation it makes sense. Now, when you're running around the frog, you had to be careful because sometimes it wanted to go and do like inside my frog like that. So you have to be really careful where you click. So I'm clicking as you can see. All right, I'm gonna join it by clicking it and then I'm gonna hit um, edit cut. All right, so now my frog is cut in half. Then I'm gonna hit edit paste and it's automatically gonna stick it on another layer here. And it looks like it's together, but I can easily click on my arrow tool or I can click on my move tool and move it apart. And then I can click on this layer and um, move it forward. So now I have my frog cut in half. So then um, I turned on my cupcake layer and tried to figure out where I wanted my cupcakes. Um, now you're going to remember that you can have things in the um, behind. So you want to make sure here's my frog layer here that I was working on earlier. So my frog layer is, is right here. And if you want to label it, you can um, double click on it. I can't spell. Um, and then I decided to play around with my cupcakes. I, I didn't like the fact that they were kind of cut off here. And um, I wanted more cupcakes. So I slowly added layers to my cupcakes. Like that. There we go. So I 
I figured out how my cupcakes, and I really wanted this, like this layer here. And it looks like some of my layers have gotten mixed up. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about that now. Um, so you want to slowly add the cupcakes or add whatever it is that your mind thinks needs to be done. You want to slowly do that. Okay. Um, so I decided that I needed a cupcake here because it, um, it, I didn't like how it was cut off. So what I did is I hid my cupcakes and I went back to one of my original layers and selected it. So I can, if I'm on this layer, um, and remember guys, you can always turn your layers on and off to um, figure out what layer you're on. Then you can use the lasso select tool and say, I want this cupcake here. I can slowly um, trace around it like that. And I can hit copy and paste. And then I've, I've got a cupcake that I can move around anywhere, anywhere I want. All right. What we're going to do now, I have the layers where I want it. And I'm almost done. What's really bothering me here is that this cupcake is cut off right here. So how can I fix that? Well, first of all, I figure out what layer this cupcake is on. All right. Once I have that figured out, um, I click it on and off so I can figure it out. Um, I'm going to zoom in and I have, I'm going to hold down the space bar to move it around. I have several options. I could use the clone tool or I could use the paint tool or I could use a little combination of both. So let's start off with our clone tool. Uh, now on some of your keyboards, you have to hit K, but it will, it will holler at you, your computer, if you don't do it right. So I'm holding down the K key and I'm going to click. Okay. And then I'm going to use this here. Now the brush you're using is going to make a big difference here. Um, so I'm using, trying to use a little bit of a smaller brush. And as I said previously, going slow is the way to do it. Okay. I am going to okay, keep going. I have this little gap that I need to fill. Okay. Now, if you want to, that, that looks like chewed up bubble gum a little bit. So I'm going to take my eraser tool and kind of smooth that out. Okay. Now, if I want to fix this part, I can use my paintbrush tool and say I want it to be a mint green. So I'm going to use this pipette and I'm going to sample this green color. Then I'm going to go back to my um, mint green icing color and I might use a small paintbrush to fill that in. If I'm doing a small area, it's um, really not going to make a huge difference. If I'm doing a large area, it's going to be really noticeable. So I kind of want to smooth this line a little bit down. There we go. Alrighty. So I'm going to zoom out and see how that looks and see if I'm done. And if I'm done, um, remember guys, we always want to save our files in two ways. One, we want to save as a Photoshop document. So I'm going to hit that and I've um, the label of my file is the name of the project. So it's slice. So yes, I've saved it many times. So I'm going to overwrite the original. And next I want to turn this into Artsonia. So I'm going to export as a JPEG. So I'm going to hit that. And then it's going to ask me, do you want to save it at 70%? Because it's a very large file. Uh, let's, let's try to do 90. I don't want to, I don't, maybe I don't want to say hundred percent, but let's do that. So I'm going to hit save and then it's going to download this. Now for you guys on your Chromebook, it's going to download in your um, Google Drive in your downloads folder. So you're going to turn that in to Artsonia. All right. Message me if you have any questions. Bye guys.